In the heart of the African savannah, morning is breaking. The sun's heat warms the earth, and the animals that inhabit it start to stir, basking in the morning warmth. Though this tranquility doesn't last for long. Trees fall and vegetation is obliterated as behemoths move through the plains. For this is a land of giants where titans rule. While smaller animals flee, this herd of seven remains oblivious. With few worries, the elephants spend their days feeding off the lush vegetation. But for one young bull, Millennium, his coming of age is about to unbalance everything. Millennium, the smallest of three males, has become a teenager. No longer is he happy at the bottom of the family hierarchy. There is only one way to change this. War. The alpha within the family is the ancient Obos. His status means he alone has the right to mate with the herd's females. Waiting in the sidelines is number two, the conniving Kisu. Although dwarfed by Kisu, Millennium believes he is vulnerable. Millennium knows that Kisu has been testing old boss and is losing favour with the dominant bull. On this morning, he sees an opportunity as Kisu has been particularly submissive to the Alpha. Millennium makes his move. Sensing the disturbance, the rest of the herd move closer. They watch as Kisu easily defeats the adolescent bull. As the morning passes, the divided herd returns to feeding. Millennium is now an outcast. Kisu confidently approaches the young bull, wanting to gain on the earlier fight and ensure Millennium knows his place in the family. For Millennium, being at the bottom is not where he wants to stay. Old Boss watches on. He knows the danger of overconfidence. Driven by hormones and humiliation, the younger bull stands his ground and then attacks back. <laughs> Tusks lock and trunks intertwine as the colossal power of the two bulls collide. The dust has settled, and the land is bathed in a warm glow of the evening sun. All is now calm. Millennium stands victorious as number two beside Obos. Today, he has shown that his place is no longer at the bottom. And Kisu stands alone.